Tally Developer 9 forms an integral part of the Tally development environment. It is used for programming in TDL for the development of Tally ERP 9 as well as for providing customization solutions on it. Tally Developer 9 can be easily installed within seconds. The entire source code of Tally ERP 9 is available along with TD9, which can be easily tweaked for customization purpose. Tally Developer 9 is available as three versions. The education version is a free of cost version which can be used by the learners of TDL. In the evaluation version, the user also gets a free temporary subscription of 3 months but is not entitled to avail the call support facility. The license version is available as a full year subscription. It empowers the developer to start providing solutions and he gets access to round the year call and email support. To make programming easy, color coding of various syntax components, tagging of code and various other features have been provided. Error listing and diagnosis is done by the product. Validation, compilation, building and execution of code can be done in a few simple steps. Authorization techniques prevent malpractice and minimize revenue leakage. Easy licensing and subscription processes provide a hassle-free experience to the TD9 user. The user interface of Tally Developer 9 has four sub-windows or panels. The top left panel is the browser window which is controlled by the browser tabs at the bottom. By default, the project tab is on and the browser window functions as the project window where the Tally ERP9 source code is available. The samples and the user created projects and files can also be loaded into the project window. This window is used for project and file management. Selecting the definition, function, action and the schema tabs makes the browser window act as a definition browser, function browser, action browser and schema browser respectively. These browsers provide instant references to the language APIs. The property window displays additional information or properties of the item selected in the browser window. The editor window is a place for writing and debugging the TDL program. The output window displays the results and output messages for various operations in TD9 like build, compile, search and licensing operations. Let us now have a detailed look at the browser window.
the editor window is used for writing and debugging the TDL program. To make programming easy, color coding of the various language components, displaying the line numbers if required, direct navigation to any definition, and various other features have been provided. The file menu is used for all the project and file operations. The edit menu is used for edit operations within the editor window. Search menu is used for performing various search operations. The navigate menu is used for navigation purposes. View menu is used for changing view settings. Build menu is used for compilation, build and debugging operations. Tools menu contains a number of tools useful for the developers. License menu is used for performing the licensing operations. Help menu is the gateway to a rich set of documentation, sample programs, knowledge base and support center. Let us now go through the various steps in the life cycle of a TDL project starting from creation of a project to building of a TCP file which can be deployed in Tally ERP9. To create a new project, go to the file menu and click on the menu item New Project. In the New Project window, provide the project name. To specify the location of saving the project, browse to a particular location. The same location is also reflected as the output location of the TCP file. A different output location can be specified by using the browse button. To add new files to the project, click on the add new files button and specify the name and the location of the file. Now, consider that we have a project with some files attached to it. Compilation can be done by going to the Build menu and selecting the option Compile Project. Before going for the creation of TCP, some initial settings can be performed by right-clicking on the project and selecting Properties. By clicking on the Build Options tab, a number of settings can be done which are very critical from the commercial point of view. The option Enable Trial Mode can be selected in case the developer wants to provide the TCP to a customer for a few days before the customer decides to buy it. To enable the TCP only for specific tally serial numbers, the developer can select the option Authorization Required and add the tally serial numbers to the list by using the button Add Serials. The 
option build is used to build the project to create a TCP file. The project can be deployed by specifying the location of the TCP file in TDL configuration screen of Tally ERP9. Before deployment, the TDL can be tested by selecting the option Execute Tally from Tally Developer 9. 